introducing the today's topic plasma proteins and their origin forms and variations and the functions this is the most important and interesting topic in examiner's point of view noting down the competencies discuss the origin forms variations and the functions of plasma proteins list the plasma proteins give normal values and the age ratio describe the physiological role of plasma proteins describe the role of plasma proteins in starling forces and pathophysiology of the edema discuss the alterations in plasma protein levels in health and diseases mainly there are three types of plasma proteins albumin globulin and the fibrinogen concentration of total proteins is 6.4 to 8.3 g per deciliter albumin concentration is 3 to 5 g per deciliter globulin 2 to 3 g per deciliter and the fibrinogen 200 to 450 mg per deciliter contributing 55% 38% and 7% among total proteins respectively origin is nothing but the site of synthesis of the plasma proteins during embryonic life mesenchymal cells synthesize the plasma protein and albumin is the first plasma protein to be synthesized in adults albumin and fibrinogen are synthesized in liver whereas globulin is synthesized by tissue macrophage or reticular endothelial system of liver spleen and bone marrow it's also synthesized by plasma cells and the lymphocytes looking at the individual plasma proteins firstly the albumin with molecular weights of 69000 daltons knowing molecular weight is important because if there is problem with glomerular filtration low molecular weight proteins appear the first in urine so your albumin appears first Albumin controls colloid oncotic pressure and also act as binding and carrier protein. Transport anions, cations, dyes, drugs, hormones, fatty acids, metals, amino acids, enzymes and the bilirubin. Globulin. Globulin has variable molecular weight. Gamma globulins are immunoglobulins. Glycoproteins, proteins plus carbohydrates. Lipoproteins involved in lipid metabolism. transferrin transfers the iron haptoglobin forms stable complex with a free hemoglobin ceruloplasmin involved in transportation and storage of copper in previous video i mentioned about wilson's disease that is due to reduced ceruloplasmin level in the blood angiotensinogen and the coagulation factors looking to the fibrinogen it has 350000 daltons of molecular weight it's precursor to fibrin thus helps in clotting albumin globulin ratio it's normally around 1.5 to 2.5 i am going to discuss about the causes for alteration in the ag ratio than the condition that helps you to understand better as we know liver is the site of synthesis of plasma proteins ag ratio can be altered in liver diseases plasma proteins are usually not excreted in urine if there is damage to the glomerular filtration membrane we will lose plasma proteins that alters the ag ratio functions of plasma proteins or physiological role of plasma proteins plasma proteins involved in coagulation mechanism fibrinogen prothrombin and other coagulation factors which are protein in nature involved in defensive mechanism gamma globulins which provide antibodies which in turn provides immunity to the body transport functions these proteins combine with various substances like hormones drugs metals etc maintain ph of blood by buffering action plasma proteins provide 15 to 20% of total buffer action of the blood provides viscosity that maintains normal blood flow and cell stability less the symmetry of proteins greater the viscosity 80% of viscosity is contributed by the albumin erythrocyte sedimentation rate esr formation of rolex it's that piling of rbcs one over the other that's due to the albumin and the globulin plasma proteins acts as reservoir of proteins and used up during the starvation last and important functions plasma proteins create colloid oncotic pressure which is osmotic pressure of plasma due to the presence of proteins which acts as solutes oncotic pressure prevents loss of fluid from the compartment to the interstitium 
we can see its action in capillaries and the glomerular filtration. Starling forces are not actually the forces, but pressure differences responsible for exchange of fluid across the capillaries. Understanding the edema Its accumulation of excess of fluid in the interstitium of the tissue. Mechanism of edema formation has mainly two ways. Increased hydrostatic pressure due to hypervolumia and decreased oncotic pressure due to reduced plasma proteins. This much is for today. If you have any doubt, please comment down below. Thank you.